Hi, this is Professor Wolver from uh, University of San Francisco and dragondropcode.com. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build a Talk to Socrates app, an app that talks to OpenAI or ChatGPT. And, you know, you're probably used to using ChatGPT and asking it questions. Well, now using Thunkable, this visual coding language, um, you can build an app that does that work for you, that has OpenAI underneath. So this is a running app. You can try it with this URL up here, but you enter a question for Aristotle or for Socrates, and it answers in, in the perspective of Socrates. So what the app does is it puts the instructions and the prompt engineering to make that happen. And basically you can write or create any kind of apps using this very powerful technology underneath. I'm going to show you how um, with, with Thunkable. And you can do this even if you've never coded, um, and you can probably do it in about 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the working app. And now I'm going to show you, you know, here's Thunkable um, and Thunkable in uh, development mode. Okay, and this is the designer. And it just shows like a label up here, a picture. Uh, these are actually two text inputs. Okay, I use a text input for the response. Uh, because it's it's got scroll bars, but for that response, make sure you set the property editable off and multi-line on. Okay, so anyway, this is Thunkable, and you can, you know, if you've never used Thunkable, you know, just get an account at thunkable.com, and it's free, and then you can just drag on objects, right? And so I've already dragged a few objects on. This part's pretty simple, but go to dragondrockcode.com. I got a bunch of examples if you want some to get started. Okay, for this tutorial, I just want to show you the the blocks, the coding to make our app talk to um, OpenAI. Okay, and so I'm going to come over here, and 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 so I'm going to do these blocks. And one thing I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, and I'm going to create my connector to OpenAI. Okay, so I'm just going to click this plus, um, but you'll notice one thing I need is to get to the properties. I need an API key, okay? And you can get an API key at OpenAI. So you just want to go to openai.com slash API. You can use your chat GPT account if you have one, or you make a new account, okay? You may get some free credits. If not, you're going to have to use your uh, uh, credit card, but it's pretty cheap. For five bucks, you can work a long, long time on that, on that $5, okay? And just make sure you say, you know, don't auto um add more money to the card or whatever okay anyway uh go to openai.com api and once you get your account go to this api keys okay and then you're going to create a new secret secret key and it creates it for you it only shows it to you once so you want to copy and paste it into some document some private document um so you have it and can can use it like these are my old ones i've already created so anyway, grab that key, stick it in a document and copy it. And you're going to paste it into your Thunkable app. Okay. So I, you're basically going to grab your key and paste it right here um, to get your app to, to, to run. Okay. Anyway, I pasted my key in there and you can't see it all, fortunately. <laughs> okay. The other thing I want you to do is set one property. You don't have to do this, but you can use the better model, GPT-4. Okay, and I think you can only use this if you're using the pain model. If not, don't do this at all, um, but try this out, model and GPT-4, and just say add, and that property's now in there, okay? So all I've done so far is I've got this, you know, this user interface, right? And in my blocks, I've just said, okay, I'm going to talk to OpenAI, but right now I'm not even doing that. Okay, so what I want is when the user clicks the ask button, so Thunkable's got these nice event handlers, and when the ask button, which is this guy, right, when the ask button is clicked, then what I want to do is call um, OpenAI. So I'm going to go down back to this service, click on it, and this text completion is, is the killer operation, right? This basically is the same as going to chat GPT. Okay, I'm gonna give it a prompt. I'm gonna get a response. Maybe I'm gonna get an error. 
Okay, so I could just type in a question here, but really that's not what I want to do. I want to grab it from whatever the user typed. And in Thunkable, I've got my text input, right? So this is this is right here where the user is going to enter something. And I want to just grab text input one's text. And that's what my prompt is going to be. Okay. And then for my response, I'm going to put my response in response text input. So I want to set response text inputs text. I could just stick to response in here. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm also going to wrap an if statement around this uh, in case there's an error. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if there was an error, and notice I'm dragging these uh, response parameters, these, these function call parameters, output parameters, I'm dragging them right from here to where I want to use them. But if there's an error, and else if there's not an error, right? Okay, if there's not an error, I'm going to go ahead and grab the response and show it. But if there is an error, I can actually just show it. Okay. Okay. And that's just like if somehow my open AI key doesn't work. Okay. Something like that. Then I want to make sure I know that that's, that's happening. Okay. So we're not putting in any prompt engineering yet, but let's run this app. So if I run this, here's my, uh, my UI and I can just say, you know, who was Aristotle and did you know him? Okay. And let's just see what chat GPT comes with, up with. So I click on ask. It takes a little while, especially if you use GPT-4. Um, and notice it gives a pretty generic answer about Aristotle. Okay. That's, that's fine. But what we want to do is make it more of a conversation. So we're going to and this is where this is the power of the software you're building, right? You can you can add to ChatGPT's power, and you can kind of help your users with your own kind of prompt engineering. You as the app builder, okay? In Thunkable, the way you're going to do it is you're going to grab text in this join block, and I'm I'm I am going to give it the user's text, um, but I'm also going to give it some instructions, okay? And what I'm going to say is, you know, please answer from the perspective of Socrates. And in the first person. And you may not, let's see. I guess you can see this, okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna leave some space here and then I'll just say, here's the question. Okay, so, you know, basically I'm adding kind of a system prompt. I'm adding the app's instructions to help manipulate it so we get good responses or the responses however we want them, okay? You can also do stuff like, you know, have it generate sample questions for the user um, and, and, and give it different perspectives or whatnot. But anyway, this is what we're going to do for now. Now, if I rerun this, um, and I run it, and then I ask my same question, who, who was Aristotle, and did you know him? I think I'm going to get a different answer now. Um, so here comes the answer. Notice there's a pause, and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll help with that in a second. Uh, but notice he's now answering as Socrates, and he even says about when he died and, and uh, some various things about you know, his own life in, in comparison. So now we're really having a discussion with Socrates. Uh, just a couple quick things. So you can also um, call image generation. If you do call this one, make sure you don't have that setting, the GPT-4 setting set, okay? Um, but anyway, you can, you can have OpenAI generate images. And if you do, the response is going to be an uh, image file. So like I would get that response and I would stick it into like image one, right? Set image one's picture to the response. Um, but it's a really cool feature. Uh, the other thing, quick thing I wanted to show is just how to how to put um, put it so the the user kind of understands that it's waiting for the system. And there's a nice component called the loading icon, and I can just stick him on there. I want to make him invisible to stop start. Okay. 
Um, but in my blocks, I'm going to make it visible right before I call ChatGPT. Um, so I'll go up here and I'll grab my loading icon and I'm going to set its visible property. And I'm going to set it to true. Okay, so you're going to see it. Then you're going to call ChatGPT. And when ChatGPT gets done, you're going to set it back to false. Okay, now if we run it, it's just going to look a little bit better. Um, I ask my question, let's say, who is Plato? I ask my question, and then there comes the loading icon, uh, which just gives the user an idea that, oh, yeah, this is this is what's going on. And notice it's it's in the first person from, from Socrates. Um, anyway, this is just a real basic example of what you can do with, with um, Thunkable, okay? You can do this very quickly in in 20 30 minutes you can make your own app and make a conversation with anybody um, but you could also add a whole bunch of people and 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 make it a whole like a history lesson with a bunch of different people having conversations maybe even debates right um, anyway check out drag and drop and um, there's a bunch of tutorials there and good luck with um, building ai apps